Are you scared of a Labour government? Yes. We are two weeks out from a general election. We've already had stories about the super rich being ready to flee the country if Jeremy Corbyn comes to power. We thought we'd come to the city to ask people's opinions on, on whether or not the riches should pay a little bit more tax under the next British government. Any thoughts about the general election, sir? They're all a bunch of bastards. So we're asking about the general election? Yes, bollocks. Are you scared of a Labour government? Are you scared of a Labour government? Yes. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're here to ask some questions about the general election. I wondered if you had any thoughts. Um, just that I hope the Conservatives win. So if you think in, in this country you have got some public services which are in crisis, you know, 4 million people waiting for operations, 600,000 people on trolleys last year, how do you think the government should make the money to, to fund those services properly? You don't think that we've got public services that need investment? Uh, well, of course we do, but we don't have the funds to renationalize all that they want to renationalize. Where's it all coming from? Well, so there'd be lots of people who'd say that the people who say the Labour government can't, or the a future Labour government couldn't afford to invest in public services and tax and nationalize things, that they could afford to bail out the banks here and that they haven't paid the price for, for the damage they I caused. I think the that's economy. right. I think I think there's been a lot of very bad management within the banking system and within finance as a whole. Okay, and so, so what the what the Labour Party is saying is that what they'll do is they'll increase taxes on the rich Look, and they'll the spend those taxes the on the rich Party. on public services because they don't think that four million people waiting for an operation is a good thing. Well, of course, four million people waiting. I don't think four million people are waiting for operations, as a matter of fact. 4.4 million people are waiting for operations. Well, maybe um, there's a case for people who can afford it to pay for medical care up to a certain point. After all, you have prescription charges. Well, Labour are going to scrap them, to be honest. Well, they're going to scrap, they're going to nationalise everything, they're going to scrap them, they're going to do all these wonderful things. And where's the bloody money coming from? Well, the bloody money's coming from taxing the rich, that's what oh, I said. Oh, yes, that will, will it? And what do you think that will do? Do you really think that taxing the rich to pay these billions and billions and billions is going to improve the economy? Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, we don't agree. <laughs> have a good day, sir. Uh, you have a lovely day, yeah. too. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, we're asking about the general election. Uh, any thoughts about whether you'd like to see Jeremy Corbyn or Boris Johnson as Prime Minister? I definitely don't want to see Corbyn. You don't want to see Corbyn? Can you, can you explain why? He'll bankrupt us. OK, can you, can, you, can you expand a bit? Who are you thinking for Prime Minister, Jeremy Corbyn or Boris Johnson? Johnson. Johnson, can you tell me why? Because there's no alternative. In Labour's manifesto it says they're going to tax the rich more than they have been taxed up to now. What do you think about that? Uh, to an extent I agree, yeah, because uh, the rich should be taxed at least at the 40% mark. I know they get a lot more, but they get out of it through all the um, ducks and dives that they can do. There was a bit in the press the other day some multi-billionaire paid about £37 in tax in a year. Yeah, they need to, they need to cut down on that, yeah, definitely. The, the PAYE people, I mean, they, they're being taxed uh, left, right and centre because they're transparent. Mm. Their earnings are transparent, but the mega-rich aren't. Yeah. Why have we got tax havens? Why do we allow tax havens to exist? Large companies are allowed to strike up sweetheart deals within their revenue, you know? I've got a letter just behind me now that's from the from company's house saying you must send your company accounts to us or you'll get a fine and blah de blah de blah. And we're large companies. I mean, everybody says, oh, they employ lots of people and all that. But the heads of these companies are amassing stupid amounts of money. It's not an, You're not endangering the, the company by taxing them and making the people who own them give back a little bit more. It's, it's a fallacy that you're going to lose jobs if you raise taxes. <laughs> you're not worried that if Labour get into power, they, they increase taxes on the richest and then all your customers, they flee to Monaco? Well, I think we've tried the alternative for long enough now. We've been told about trickle-down economics, haven't we? For the last 40 years, Margaret Thatcher said trickle-down, it's going to make us all richer. Hasn't happened. 
we're still waiting to see evidence of that. There are people in work, in poverty, food banks springing up around. I can't conceive of when I was growing up, food banks in this country. There's enough wealth in this country, it's not just, just not being distributed properly, you know. Excuse me, sir. Any thoughts on the general election? Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, indeed. Um, hopefully the Tories don't win, would be my first first principle behind it. Um, and and what, what, what industry do you work in? We were uh, coming... Uh, financial services. Financial services. And how would you feel about a Labour government in this election? I'm pro it. I think they, were, um, they have the potential to re uh, re-engineize this country, to be honest. And would you be paying more tax under a Labour government? Uh, yes, I would be, yeah. You would be? Yeah. And so does that put you at odds with many of your, your workmates? Uh, no, no. Funny enough, I would say most people pay, pay more for better services, fixing the issues we've got with the current government after 10 years of austerity, and uh, particularly Boris Johnson. So, And what do you say about the people that say that if, if Corbyn comes into power, there'll be a run on the pound, there'll be economic catastrophe? Um, well, you could, yeah. well, it's not exactly, it's not, it's not exactly uh, the best times at the moment, so uh, the pound's not exactly riding high. If the pound was high at the moment, you could say legitimately, then you could say there might be a run on the pound, but let's be honest, it's, it's, it's almost one-to-one -one against the euro, down against the dollar. What difference is Jamie Corbyn going to make to the, the overarching uh, parts of uh, policy? So have I found a banker for Corbyn then? Uh, yes. Thank you very Most much. Most definitely. <laughs>